once again to Perspectives. I'm Faisal Qureshi. And I'm Faisal Khan. What was the prediction for 2012? W war? <laughs> Another one? Maybe. Big one, small one? Proxy. Proxy? Proxy. Not direct? Not direct. Probably not. When the Cold War ended, people, people were very clear that America and Czech would create a disaster and that imbalance would lead to a much larger war than the world wars one and two ever were. The vacuum has been there for what, 20 years now? At, and, at the least. And still going from this to another five, ten years? Do you think all Before this Arab Spring, everything is happening, uh, it's just a coincidence happening altogether, or you think it's now come to a come to a head where everything, the West, I'm saying the West, because I don't want to upset our American friends, mm. they had planned for about two, three decades, is now matured and it's, it's time. Hard to say, uh, but I'll tell you one thing, the Internet changed a lot of uh, the, the uh, fabric of politics. Good point. Uh, it did. Many people didn't see that. Yeah. Uh, the Arab rising especially. Yeah. And I think uh, the overall, we look at what's happening in India, look what's happening in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in Iran especially. Yeah. Uh, all these countries, right. there are a lot of people who are in the youth, you know, a lot of people under 20, under 25, majority of the population. Interesting. I mean, we'd be talking of predictions, but I don't think the internet and its impact was predicted even Ever. two years ago. Ever. Do you think? Do you think we, well, we could maybe some, someone did, did do it, but yeah, but not to the scale because I think I think not even Facebook. I think Twitter was a game changer. Twitter, Facebook, Facebook did gather a lot of people on the same platform. But it did not have that impact. It was, it's not real time as real as, as Twitter. It is. could have been, but it just. Really, but okay, we're not here to discuss technologies. Right. The thing is that yes, um, the imbalance, the um, the resentment all the problems which have been sitting there for decades mm. and boom comes the internet. Mm. And Look it's at China. A... No uprising in China. Why? Internet is controlled. controlled. Great firewall of China. Yeah. A very important point. Yeah. Uh, it's control over there. They, they, uh, Gmail supposedly doesn't work in China. I don't know if that's true so, or not. So, so what's the plan? I mean, what's, uh, what, do you, what do you think happening? Iran is uh, all set. Iran is not taking it sitting down. The United yeah. States is uh, is trying to proxy to Israel. Well, you know, this Iran, Israel, Saudi Arabia, West, East, uh, East uh, equation has been there on the table for a long, long time and That's it's it. unsolved. Yeah. I think someone's going to have a crack at it. Who is that someone? I don't know, Israel maybe. Um, the existentialism threat you know, that Iran uh, poses to Israel you know, is, is, is hyped up every single time Iran even yawns. It's interesting yeah. how, how the West has managed to get Saudi Arabia versus Iran, this, the Shia-Sunni divide, where it's, it's all Muslims. It's really. a major Shia-Sunni oh, divide. It's, that could take us to the world war, yeah. uh, which is unfortunate. Because uh, part of Afghanistan, a very great part of Pakistan, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Jordan, uh, some of the states in the GCC, yeah. Sunni. Yeah. Uh, if you look at that entire population area, I think about 40, 45 percent is Sunni. So if not more. If by, by population, probably more. And had they all stuck together, Muslims would have controlled energy, would have controlled gas, oil, coal, mm. minerals. Diamonds and well, the gold. Money was the game. Not the diamonds, of course, but yeah. But, but you know, at the end, at the end of the day, it is money. It is business for someone. There is. So don't take it personally. It's strictly business, huh? It, it is. It's nothing it, personal. It, but it's a fact. It's a fact. Why do people go to war? Just because I don't like your policy statement and you know, send thousands of troops. There is a money supply chain behind it. There, there, the logistics people are selling ammunition. People are selling security false sense, you know, whatever it is, it maybe, but it is a business. War is the biggest business that is there. Or maybe some war mongers and war starters. And, 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 and I got to give it to you, the machinery, the war machinery has made it such that anyone who makes it a claim, you know, that this is a, a biggest business, etc., they are branded as conspiracy theorists. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's a no-no. It wasn't the there. The world before. loves it peace. Was, it wasn't there when uh, the Vietnam uh, pricing came up. It came up after that. But many a war has also started because of just uh, some mad people with a small wee wee syndrome. Give me an example. Hitler. What was that? Not, not, it, it, 
he did not do it because he it, it was about wealth or money or economics. Not to my <coughs> understanding, it was just his supremacy in his mind. He had to rule the, the world. Aryan nation. The Aryan nation. But you know, I mean, and, and Hitler's not something we can discuss here and, and settle in uh, ten minutes or what have you. Uh, they're, they're, but he was bookshelves and bookshelves. Let's just say he was cuckoo. Of, uh, was cuckoo. Yeah, yeah. Near the end, he, I mean, regardless of what we say about his but he beginnings, was a but brilliant, he, brilliant strategies. No doubt, but he was cuckoo. In the end, he was cuckoo. Mm. So the point is that wars are not necessarily just because of, of, of money or economics. Some cuckoo uh, people can also. Well, start a person wars. not willing to compromise, a person with his own vested ideas, and says, "That's it. This is my ideas, this is my opinion, and nothing else." Well, another, another, and I'm saying this for a purpose. You look at the Idi Amin from Uganda. Sure, sure. Same thing. But there's another perspective. Some people make promises, and then they fail. And when they're failing, they need a new war. They need a new war to distract the world. They need a new war to revive George the Bush? Barack Obama? I don't think so. Barack Obama controls anything. Well, not a George, George Bush for that matter, but still. No, certainly not George Bush. Between the two, I mean, uh, yeah. his IQ is much higher. So the, reason, the, reason I'm, the reason I'm invoking this is that now the United States is making friends with the Taliban. Opening an office is, in Qatar? How sweet is that? So once they've got Taliban settled, they've got Pakistan and Iran and this little spot here um, surrounded. And, well, look, and what, look what happened with the IRA. Same thing. They said, you know, no matter what, you have to come to the table, the negotiation table. Yeah. In, hey, in, Imran Khan said that too. Yeah. Uh, and you laughed at him. And you laughed at him. We and laughed you know, at him. <laughs> yeah, we laughed at him. <laughs> the whole world laughed at him. But it's true. So uh, they did come to the table. Yeah. Shin Fen did come. Is that, no matter sure. how many times you come, you can go at each but other. Unfortunately, you can go at each other. Mm -hmm. You can uh, go after each other's throats. Yeah, yeah. But you will still come back to the table. Yeah, we can't fight to the end. You can't. Um, and but unfortunately, this that's not the pro uh, prophecy or the line of uh, you know reasoning that was followed by the U.S. ever. It's always like, oh, you know what? We can't well, win this one. Let's just get out. Okay, now I have another one. They've, they've beaten the Taliban, Pakistan to pulp and now they're negotiating. And interestingly, all the all the political changes in Pakistan are not happening for no reason. Yeah, but you know, you know what have they beaten? What, what, what ha how do you beat an idea? Well, how do you beat a nation? How do you beat an idea, an ideology? You can't. Yeah, but you, you, you can reduce the number of people subscribing to it, but no, it'll come back. No, but in case of Pakistan, they have beaten the nation down completely. Uh, I can go on and on, but you know they, they have beaten the, you know, economically, morally, everywhere. Yeah, I mean, of course, yeah, we are we are exhausted. Exhausted in, 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 in many senses. Exactly. So now, now when America wants to play its little game in the region, there's no resistance. No. There may be military resistance, mm -hmm. and they've been trying to beat. But the I'll tell you one thing. As well. uh, look at Occupy Wall Street. Look at the financial crisis. Look at the amount of debt the United States yes. has. I and, and it's not me. Uh, many, many, many people who's uh, from you know, all the think tanks in Washington and yeah. across the world, the U.S. cannot afford to go into another war. It's, and, it's, that's it's, ex and that's exactly when they go into war. And that's exactly when they go into <laughs> war. Uh, case in point, Iran. Yeah. It will not be a ground invasion. It will be a, a oh, war wait. fought from the proxy, the allies, yeah. etc. You know, bombardment, go and there's more aircraft carriers, more aircraft, more bombs, more etc. etc. Et maybe, et maybe, maybe the new American friends. Vis -a -vis it's Taliban. It's one hundred and eleven dollars for a barrel of oil today. Yeah. Imagine what would happen. Well, NATO, all honest NATO, is stealing supplies into Afghanistan while Pakistan routes are closed. So, but those are different discussions. The point is, uh, when you're in the end, uh, I think we're running out, of, running out of time here. America will, I think, like another war, maybe through proxy, maybe even some sort of direct involvement. I think America will take a, take a warring stand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll Wars, yeah, right, a warring right. stance with Iran. Yeah. I think they'll, then the, uh, the second carrier just they came, can't get the second involved. carrier yeah. came into the Gulf of Hormuz just yesterday, day before yesterday. Yes, yes. So they will take that stand. Uh, it'll take a tick for the for that small bomb to go off. And then what will be next? I think you know sanity will prevail. I I hope so. Else insanity will rule. Or insanity could rule, but not for the, not not for too long this time. It'll be a quick one, right? Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Iran, uh, in Iraq, oil routes get you know, disrupted yeah. seriously. Yeah, but but this will be an insane war if it happens. 
uh, if an oil tanker goes down, imagine the ecological damage, imagine the... Well, I don't think we'd have to worry about ecological damage at that point. Well, the, the, the Bay shores will be very much interested in the Abu Dhabi shores that, you know, we don't get any oil on our beaches. Well, what would you say to the world that will be affected by such a war? The countries like Pakistan, India, you know, the smaller countries. I'll say one thing. There's this movie called V for Vendetta. Yeah. And it says, the former United States of America. The former United States of America. Like it or not, I think that started. Now, come on. You, you, no, 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 I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 hear me out. I'm not saying it's happening now or two years from now or six years. The decline of America has started. Economically, it has started already. In the huge debt, there's a huge political divide, there's a huge religious divide. There's so many issues over there right now. Uh, All right, let's hope we live to tell the tale and see what the predictions are. Yeah, maybe. And if, if they are true or if not. If they are true or not. But in the meantime, don't forget to keep some frozen food and make bomb sh fallout shelters. Bomb shelters. <laughs> bomb shelters. <laughs> and if we survive this one, we'll talk to you again next time. Please uh, send us your emails. Let us know what you think. If there's anything you want us to talk about, if there's anything you'd like us to involve in the show, thank you for watching 247online.tv. Okay.